circuit for round seven of the British Superbike Championship. Um, obviously I'm racing Superstock 1000. So we've done free practice one, free practice two and qualifying. Um, everything's gone really really well. Uh, got faster in every session so that's really good. Just getting used to this bike around the circuit really. Um, last time I was here, I, ra well, I raced the BMW last year and then previous to that it was on the Honda Superbike. So just getting used to, like I say, my bike around here. Um, it's been great actually. Uh, the only thing that I've done is I've turned that anti wheelie setting that I turned down at Donington, I've turned it back up, on for here. And it's helped massively um, coming out of the last chicane onto the start finish straight because you're going from a really sh slow chicane um, to high speed and the bike just wheelies really and it's so hard to keep it down. So I've basically turned that up and it's helping a lot. And it doesn't feel like it's intervening too much or holding the bike back, which is. Um, Kind of evident because my bike's actually faster than the start finish line so that's pretty cool so that's working really well and it works well out of um oggies which is here oh no sorry out of uh palmer yeah palmer because uh, the bike wheelies quite a lot out of there and also out of williams onto the back straight as well so it's um working perfect so that's really cool um, um yeah i think it's fine do you think that's given any potential trouble is uh, brake pads. It's really heavy on brake pads here. Um, there's lots of heavy braking into, like high, from high speed into quite tight corners. So massive heavy braking, big load on the on the front pipe, brake pads. So we're tubing our way through brake pads. But I'm, I'm basically using standard Honda brake pads that come with the bike, but I've got the Brembo calipers and they're Brembo pads, but they're a Honda part number. But they are absolutely amazing. They're probably the best pads I've ever, ever had. Um, the bite on them is so good and the feel is amazing so we're trying our best just to use the standard pads um, but unfortunately we've run our last set this weekend and I'm going to have to swap to a different pad tomorrow so for warm up we're trying a different pad because that's all we've got um, so that's a bit of a shame but hopefully the, the other pad will be just as good so we'll see um, yeah and it's going really well so uh, lap time wise I've come quite a lot faster than I did on the BM last year so really happy with that and getting down i got down to one minute 53.9 which is pretty cool my my best ever lap was on the honda fireblade when i was in superbikes was um a 150.9 i think it was 1.8 um but that's with a, we have a zero tire which is the grippiest tire and a slick whereas with superstock we're only allowed uh, one compound of rear tire which is an sc2 which is the hardest tire so i'm really really happy with my lap time it's really good it's it's going totally in the right direction and it's it's faster than I did last year on the BM and it's it's really good and the bike feels really good and I feel like I can get a bit more out of the tyres so yeah happy really happy with that um so when I've done the session I'll generally come back in and I'll try and figure out where I can go faster obviously <laughs> so uh, at a BSB event we get um, 
circuit map, which gives you um, previous lap records for every class. So uh, we can go round and basically have a look at the circuit and where I think I can go faster. So I thought I'd just kind of go through that with you. So let me just set up. So, um, yeah, basically what I found when I raced in the Superbike Championship, obviously they're all super, super fast and I, ha I basically had massive determination. I really, really wanted to do well. And I would just try anything, just watch what everyone else was doing, try my hardest and try and copy what, what they were doing. So I learned quite quickly some like different techniques and how to push on more uh, being at that level. Um, so for Snetterton, I found, due to the nature of the circuit, that I would push the front a lot. So basically that means I would be on the brake and I'd be heavy into the corner with a lot of brake on. And even, I'd go round the corner and use the brake to turn round the corner, a lot of the corner, before I'd even get on the gas. Because um, a lot of the corners here, if you can see, like the hairpins, you know, it's um, the really late apexes, so really late here. This one's quite late. This one's very late. Um, so all that means is you don't want to be getting on the gas until you can see your apex. I mean your yeah your apex your exit point, and the, the exit point is very late round the corner. So in order to maximise the straight and the speed, you would brake late and carry the brake into the corner, slow down in the corner, and scrub loads of speed until you can get to that exit point and then gas it. Um, so for this circuit especially, it means that you're pushing the front really, really heavy into a lot of corners. Um, so for free practice one, I started to do that and start to get confidence again in my front tyre. And the same for free practice two. Um, I, I was been running an, an SE1 front, so we have a choice of two tyres, uh, an SE1 or an SE2. I chose to use the one. Uh, the basic difference is the construction of the tyre. The one kind of, it fold, you can feel it fold a little bit on the front. Uh, whereas to use a, a stiffer construction, uh, grip-wise are the same, but the feel is very different. Um, and I could I could start to feel mine folding um, at the very very late apex of the corner where I'm still on the brake. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that tire just because then I can I can get to that feeling point, which is really cool. I know where that is, and I know if I'm away from it or I can push on a bit more to get to it, and I know where it is. So I'm gonna stick with the SC1. Um, so in terms of what I learned from following other people in the session, um, yeah, basically I'll come back in and I'll have a look at the track map and figure out where I definitely know I can push on a bit further um, just to gain a little bit of speed. It's, it's really weird because you get around the track and you think you're tramping on and then somebody comes past you and she's tramping on more and um, sometimes it's not a massive amount, sometimes it's a bit, but it's enough, you know, and this, at this level every little bit counts. So, uh, so, first corner, um, I really like the first corner, it's really fast, uh, you brake really, really late and hold the brake into the apex, uh, there's a curb, basically a curb here and a curb here, uh, so you hold the front brake into that first corner, there's a few ripples here which unsettles the front, so you, it's kind of like you've got a brake, release the brake a tiny bit to get over those ripples and then go for the brake again, and then start, start to pick up the throttle and drive through the second part of the corner. Um, so I thought I was doing this really well, but again, somebody came past me and was doing it better. So instantly I was like, right, okay, I need to be doing the same thing, but better further in, a lot even harder on the brake, um, and just deep, same strategy, but just deeper into the corner. Um, so that's that one. Uh, this one I felt like I was okay. Again, this one I felt like I was okay. Um, yeah. The, this one is basically a second hairpin. Uh, I can make up a little bit of time there, but not much. Just trying to get the left handers. I'm a bit awkward on left handers, so trying to get my body position correct for less lean angle because I carry loads of left hand side lean angle due to incorrect body position. Really, um, I don't know. I had a, a crash, bike crash years ago at Cadwall. Um, I did definitely damage. I think I damaged my neck. Um, so I have a weird kind of style on the lefts. So just trying to alter that and get that sorted for that one helped massively coming out of that corner. Um, 
Uh, Hamilton's, yes, we've learnt Hamilton's. I can definitely go in faster and carry the brake later and in. Um, one of the things you tend to do on track day is you, you brake, um, tip and go, but this one you kind of just go in before you even brake, so you just, you, you brake but then you go as well at the same time, so it's not a, a flat out tucked in brake and then kind of trail and go, it's more of a brake and carry on braking while you go in and trail and go, it's just, it's everything that you, you would normally do, so you heavy braking, trail braking, but it's just more, it's just deeper into the corner so that you can break later. Um, yeah, so I could definitely make up, well I did make up a bit of time here. Um, under the bridge, again this is one of the corners where I thought I was really really good, under under the bridge breaking into here. Um, and one thing that I found helped me in this session, which I don't think I've ever done before, is so basically we go flat out in sixth gear and I'll be taking this corner Nelson in second gear, um, but I would hook back the three gears and on the change of direction between the left and the right I'd hook back the final gear to get back into second, whereas now I just hook back all four gears in one go and it just helps me pull the bike back, the bike stops faster and I can get, I can basically brake later now because I can stop a lot quicker having hooked back that, that final gear before the corner. So definitely made up a little bit here, definitely made up a little bit here definitely made a little bit here and then bomb hole seems okay and corums I thought I was really good through corums as well but then following these super stock lads they just they completely nail it from the bomb hole to here and um, you never get off the side of the tyre for the whole way around here you're on the side of the tyre but they'll just go in and break right on the side of the tyre and um, so this is a really good one to make up quite a bit of speed um, to get more acceleration between this point and this point and not be afraid to pull the brake while you're quite cranked over really. It's good because it's not a massive grab of the brake like you would if you were in a straight line but it's still, even though you're cranked over, it's still a lot of brake to slip and you can, it's quite surprising how quickly you can actually slow yourself down here and then just pick up that constant throttle around Corum's before braking for Murray's. So that was one, two, yeah, four points on the circuit where I definitely found a few areas that I could improve and I felt like I did improve for qualifying. So yeah, dead happy with that. And um, yeah, that's just a bit of a, hopefully a bit of an insight as to what we can do in terms of trying to improve yourself on the circuit. Obviously there's other things to do to improve yourself, which is look at your, the data on the bike, make sure you're using full suspension travel, um, just checking your brake pressure, making sure anti wheelie interactions not holding you back too much and things like that but um, there's always when you're kind of um, trying to find chunks of time there's quite a lot to be found with yourself and the way you approach the track and it's so so good to have other people to compare to because you can think that you're going really well and you're a demon and then somebody will be better than you and then you figure it out so yeah so that's uh, that's um, but yeah, everything I've got to kind of work on tomorrow again in the race, we'll see how we go, but I'm quite quite chuffed with uh, how I've pushed on in those few areas uh, for qualifying and um, yeah, we'll see how we go tomorrow.
just finished the race, um, I was absolutely baking. Uh, it was a really good race, I started 32nd, finished 24th, so really happy with that. Lap times are much better, um, really consistent lap times, so really good. And I was in the battle with two other riders trying to catch them, keep up with them for the whole race, so it was really, really good. Um, yeah, dead happy. So we made some few changes for the race, so changed uh, full suspension, so we went to a light spring to get more travel on the front and a light spring on the rear for more travel on the rear. And we geared, uh, changed the rear sprocket to a bigger rear sprocket, um, which helped me massively. I had more punch out the corners, so it's kind of a bit of a last minute change for the race, but worked out all right. So overall, really chuffed, really, really good. And now it's just a big pack away and um, go home. <laughs> But as always, as well, I uh, should say a massive thanks to all my sponsors. Um, obviously, I couldn't do it without them. So all the sponsors that you see on my bike and all the sponsors on my helmet. Massive, massive thank you. Um, massive thanks to Rachel, Brad, Dan, and Mog uh, for always working really hard and doing pit board, doing the bike, and everything ready. Um, Go pack away. <laughs> massive thanks to them. <laughs>